Hey kids, this is Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Time for another in my occasional series on the channel of Meet the Vlogger, or MTV as I like to call it. Today I'm meeting Lamb Chop Rides. Stick around, stay tuned. So here I am with none other than Lamb Chops Rides, or as I know him, John. Thank you, John, for spending the time here on another Meet it, the, uh, what are we call this? Meet the Vlogger, Meet MTV, the MTV, MTV, that's all yeah, Oh, exactly, I like it, exactly, MTV. Exactly. <laughs> so, I've been watching you for, I think, probably about three or four years now. It's a bit yeah, bizarre. Yeah, yeah I have. It's a bit bizarre actually being here with you. We've been today, we're actually here in Spain, in case you thought this was yeah, uh, no. John's back garden. It's not. <laughs> we've had a great... be your back garden. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me, not with this weather. Maybe the pool. Anyway, we've had a great day, and um, so we've got to know each other. I mean, we have met yeah, briefly yeah, before, we have haven't we? Before. We have, have yeah. we? Yes, just briefly, for one day. Briefly at Silverstone. That's right, but now we've been riding today. That's great. I hope it's not the last time we ever do it, no, we're on a top day, yeah. uh, and I'll tell you a bit more about how you can watch the stuff we've been doing today as well. But in the meantime, if you don't know anything about John's channel, maybe you can tell us what's it called and what's it about? Yeah, well it's called Lamb Chops Rides, um, me being Lamb Chop. When I started this whole thing off, it was basically due to me building a bike in the garage. I had an old Fireblade I bought, got back into bikes about seven years ago after a ten year sort of break. Yep. Had kids, thought bikes are too dangerous, give it a rest. Right. Did you um, think that or did the wife think Well, the wife had uh, a lot to do okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I've got to be honest, yeah. And I was talked back into getting another bike by my brother-in-law who's ridden throughout his whole life and said, you've got to get another bike, John, you've got to get another bike. And I thought, yeah. you know what, if the time's right, the kids are older, yep. I'm going to get a bike. So I bought a Fireblade. He had a brand new blade. Yep. I, was, I did the first season on my 98 with him on his brand new bike, trying to keep up with him, relearning the skills yeah, like yeah. you do, you yeah, know. Yeah. And um, in the end, the following season, I thought, you know what, 98 blade's great, but compared to the brand new one, it's not quick enough. I want to make it look more sporty. And I started yeah. taking it apart, yeah. doing work to it. And every, every year, I basically did, did work change the engine in it, put the thousand engine in it, changed all the bodywork. And, and are you uh, self-taught? I mean, how did you... Yeah, no, I've got, it's just all internet-based learning. Right, wow, that's amazing, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, it's just a So you don't actually know what you're doing? I don't know what I'm doing at all. There's hope for all of us. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> but it came out all right yeah, at the end, yeah, so great. went through all that, and then once I finished doing, because I had quite, quite a creative person, I did art at school, did art A-level, yeah, yeah. and I found I really enjoyed the whole editing process, yeah, you know, yeah. all of, and actually creating the bike, yeah. and I, I was on a few uh, you know, forums at the time, and did lots of updates on there and thought, when it all finished, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do something on YouTube. Yep. I'd, I'd made about 26 episodes of building this blade, which is still on the channel now, yep. but some of yep. the first videos are horrendous when yep. you watch them back now. But uh, then I'd done all that and thought, you know what, I don't wanna stop this. So people like the band from Grumble, who we yep. were doing the vlogging, I thought, let's do a first ride on the bike with the mic rigged up. Yep. And I enjoyed it so much, and it just, and it just there, stayed from there. Right. Stayed and did that there. first um, video get quite a lot of views, or did, was, it, was, it, was it a slow I, burn? I'd, I'd had like, I think I had about 700 subscribers by the time I'd done the blaze. Right, so all okay. those people watched it. And yeah. then it was, it's always, my channel's never exploded, because I've been doing it about five years, I think, actually right. vlogging yeah. I think you're very lucky if you get something that explodes. I think yeah. for the majority of people that are doing this game, yeah. it's, a, it's a constant, long-term project. Don't, it's not a get-rich project. I was, say, I was going to say get rich quick. It's, it's not get rich at all scheme. <laughs> really, it helps if you're rich first yeah. uh, and then yeah. do it. But the key, I think, is just to keep at it, isn't it? You've got to enjoy it. You can't, you can't yeah. start this out thinking, I want to, I want to make money. If you don't no, enjoy that wrong. whole editing it, process, it won't work. then yeah. you'll never stick with it. So is there anything about the whole YouTube process that you don't enjoy? Uh, and what's the thing about it that you enjoy the most? I enjoy the creative side of it. Yep. I enjoy the creative side of it. I don't enjoy all of the sort of the politics, the YouTube politics, you know, right. the, uh, the ad stuff. Um, it's difficult when you start off doing something for fun. Yeah. Um, it grows to a point you think, hang on, there are other potential opportunities with this, whether that's with sponsorship or, yeah. or other companies want to say, well, do you want to borrow a bike, you know? Yeah, yeah. And you start to realise, well, what started off as fun, there is some potential here yeah. to, to make this into a business. And I, I've got a day job, so, I, you know, I work nine to five as, yeah. as a day job. Yeah. But now I'm thinking, well, hang on a minute, if I stick with this, perhaps I could drop, a, drop to four days a week and, and dedicate a day to yeah, YouTube. Right because it, it, I think the whole advertising, I think a lot of the PR companies now are starting to see, but then we all know that you know, paper magazines are, is dead now, because I write a bit in, in performance bikes as well. That was going to be my next question, actually. Yeah, what yeah. opportunities has YouTube opened up for you personally? There's a performance bike. Performance the, bikes, yeah, yeah. I, would, I wouldn't have sent a chance of anything writing for a magazine, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I am an official journalist yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Splitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I'm an MCN man myself. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, it's, all bad. it's all good. 
but you know, I'm in, I'm on their payroll now, so yeah, that's something that's great, which yeah. never would have come. No, with isn't that great? You know, that that's enabled uh, absolutely. you. Absolutely, yeah, and, yeah. and you're the same. In the opportunity you get to ride bikes, yeah, yeah. I've been to a few launches for, yeah. for companies now. Yeah. You know, and it is it's fantastic. And, and indeed, it. today, I mean, the riding exactly. we've done today, yeah, we've had yeah. a great day out, and we've basically had fun. Yeah, we've made some videos. Yeah, uh, but it, but you know, it's just been a nice fun day, and yeah. who wouldn't want to do that? So yeah. exactly that. You know. So so what are the plans for Lamb Chop Ride? Oh, actually, before I ask that question, what something I'm sure people ask you all the time: Why is it called Lamb Chop? Right. Do people ask it all the time? When I was, I used to do a bit of PC gaming. Yep. And uh, we used to, before the days of the internet, well, the internet was in his infancy, put it that way. Yeah. We used to lug all our big tower computers around each other's houses in an evening. Really? Yeah. Land them all up and yeah. play games all together. Right. Um, and I used to have a bit of a mutton chops, basically. Uh, and someone said, oh, those lamb chops on the side of his face. And it was like a gamer tag. Uh, and it sort so of stuck from the game. Uh, that makes yeah, yeah, yeah. That so when I thought, what can I, I said to the missus, I've got this YouTube channel. Now it's a bit silly. I thought, I should have gone for something like full throttle. Tell me about it. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> you know exactly. But you think, I can't change it now. It's, no, it's, it's too, too late. late. You know, it's too late. But so, people uh, know that as you now, so exactly, it's like, that's yeah. part of your yeah, sort of yeah. branding, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so back to my other question. So what's the future hold for Lamb Chop Rise, the channel then, do you think? Well, hopefully just continue to grow. Yep. You know, more opportunities for manufacturers. I mean, I'm talking to some of them, but I think people like yourself are sort of Trend setting this now, you know. Wow. Well, I, you're a trend <laughs> oh, well, setter. Oh, my like word. It or not, no, I've not been called that before. You're Many a other things. But yeah, right, a, okay. and, and I think, like I say before, you know, there's more, the whole industry is yep. taking it more seriously than yeah, what they ever agree. used to. Yeah, so yeah. there's the sky's the limit and it's thing it's really exciting it's great it's well really it's been exciting. fantastic riding with you today great no, to meet you again I loved it and thanks for being on another of my uh, what am I calling this MTV meet the vlogger that's <laughs> MTV. it so I hope you found that of interest if you want to check out the videos that we've made today then I'll put links below to Lamb Chop's channel uh, and to the videos I'm not quite sure whether I'll post this video before you post yours or yeah, what yeah, yeah. either way down below there will be a link it might be a placeholder when you see this uh, to the videos you've done today yeah. and of course to, the, to your channel generally yeah, uh, do go over there and check it out I think you uh, trust me if I watch it it must be good I like to, <laughs> like to think that anyway although Thank he does you, have his unsensible moments that I, I can't am, condone I need to be a bit more sensible yeah now. yeah I can't I'm condone that sort of stuff I, but, no agreed <laughs> but it's been fantastic ride with you today great to meet you again mate. hopefully it will be the first of many other rides I hope so let's hope yeah. and uh, so there we go so check that out hope you've enjoyed that look forward to speaking to you again soon until then it's cheerio from me, and it's goodbye from him. Cheerio. Bye-bye.